right, so the multiple tagging. Okay, so you can select multiple files on here. You can apply multiple tags to it uh, to make it easier on you. Now, why would you want to apply multiple tags? Well, possibly, for example, uh, these right here, PDC, that refers to Penny Duncan Creations. And maybe you want to tag all those files with Penny Duncan Creations so that you, when you do a search for it, it will pull up. Okay, so that'd be a reason. Uh, another reason is, you know, maybe uh, you see several mojos on here that have flowers on it. And you can select all the ones that have flowers on it and then you can add multiple tags to that. Okay, so it's a quick simple way on how you can add multiple tags. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing that you need is you need to enable multiple selection. Okay, so that is key. So make sure that is checkbox. You'll notice that button is erased now. And we select the ones that we want to tag. And actually, before I do this, I just wanted to show to you that there are no tags in this right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and tag these three files with Penny Duck and Creation. So when I do a search for them, it will pop up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hold the shift button down and I can click like that and group them together. Otherwise, you can hold the control button down on Windows, control click, or command button on the Mac. Okay, so once you do that, you'll go up here to add tags. Once you add the tag, this window will pop up, and you can read this. It's for your information, and but basically what it's saying here is that you can add a tag here, and you click the add tag. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and add a tag, and I'm gonna type in Penny Duncan Creation. And I'm going to go ahead and add that tag. I'm also going to add Penny on there. All right. So, say for example, we do not want that Penny that you see right here. Okay. So, nothing is added to the database until we finalize everything by clicking the Finish Tagging. Okay. So, in order to delete that, all we have to do is highlight what we want to delete and click the delete selected tag and it's removed from the list okay now once you hit finish tagging it is finalized and we'll, we'll show that here shortly so we're gonna hit finish tagging and we're gonna go ahead and check those out okay so we'll unbox that we'll double click and you'll notice that penny dunking creation is now in that tag okay and penny never got transferred over okay now Something to note on this, uh, this is only for multiple selection and for adding only. You cannot subtract collectively. You know, you can't select a bunch of files and say, hey, delete all these tags. That, that's not an option in here. Only adding. And once you hit the finish, you hit the finish button on adding tags, um, it is final until you actually go into the actual... Uh, file itself and you can remove it that way okay so hopefully that clears some stuff up with the multiple selection it's a pretty cool tool uh, great tool to save you time alright so go ahead and continue on watching the next uh, video is going to be on the image export feature of the SVG library okay so stay tuned for that one